Hi, audio files and real real collectors. Got a big monster here, classic, from probably around 65, I would think. Roberts. It's a 7070 uh, unit. And uh, a little description here, of course, there's the emblem. And then we got uh, the volume knob, which uh, this is actually all one knob. And this has got a knob for the two different, uh, the three speeds, but. Um, and then the outer knob is for uh, equalization, which is a treble bass, uh, but you got it for the left channel and the right channel individually. And uh, there's your uh, VU meter. Over here, you got stereo and a mono switch, but I don't know whether that's for the speaker or for sure just why you'd want to use that, but well, there's the option. And up here, we got uh, the power switch, which, uh, well, there's the other speaker, I guess, or left and right speaker. Uh, input, or rather uh, output. Uh, anyway, then you got a switch for motor only or off, and then you got it for power, all power. Not sure why you just want the motor to run, but then we got a record light which works. Uh, they got a monitor. Um, normal and mute which you could mute the speakers on the machine and normal would be the, the the speakers working and monitor you would have a monitor you know an external speakers or into another stereo and this machine running or just mute this and then you just have the stereo run all right anyway uh, now we got equalization for um, the other channel treble and bass which is the outer ring inner ring is for the speed all right, there's your volume knob for the other channel. Over here, the uh, counter, it works. Odd deal here. You can either have, uh, what else am I calling? Stereo, Monoro, which is channel three and two. Uh, this is all the channels, all four, I guess, working at the same time. And we got mono uh, one and four, and then goes up here, and there's your stereo. Not sure why the stereo is not here, but if you play all, you'll have uh, the back side of the tape playing at the same time and the, the front tape's playing if you play it there. So most likely you would want to leave it there. All right, then we got your uh, pinch rollers, then we got uh, play and record, uh, the usual fast forward one, then we got the pause button and the release button right there and slow and fast up there now sorry the reels don't come with it but i do have a uh a, a, a reel and a, a take up reel full reel and take up reel i'll send with it now the other odd thing about of course we got speakers out here on the side and for the old as this machine is it in in pretty good shape cosmetic wise now we got a door right here this looks really odd a little arrow just pull it back and here's odds and ends, inputs and outputs. And over here on the side of the door is what they are. Can't hardly see them, but uh, uh, they're not wore off or anything. Let's go ahead and read them. A lot of options on this uh, wild thing. And just uh, close it whenever you're not using it. Then the other weird thing too is here at the speaker. We also have uh, ex uh, stereo speaker outputs too. Now I'm not sure whether you got four channels coming out of this thing. You know, one track. Well, it could be one track in each uh, uh, speaker, and that maybe is why I'm not sure. I'm not familiar that much with it. That's why we have stereo. We got four speakers, so maybe four. You can't put them in four different channels at the same. You know, once one at a time. But I think that's what it is. Uh, that would play the all four channels. So anyway, there's the out. And uh, it's got a carrying handle. And this is what the back of it looks like. Pretty good shape. Of course, the fan is just a spinner. And uh, if you don't want these speakers, and we got all the feet with it too, just close that and turn that. <coughs> Hang on a second, I'll show you the top on. Oh, I guess I ought to show you how it worked. I got it hooked up with just the uh, in, internal. All right, I was getting ready to show you what the lid looks like, which is over here. 
Uh, of course, there's two reels in there. I could just go ahead and let those, well, one of them's empty, or both of them's empty. I'll get you a full one in there. Anyway, here's your uh, fast forward. And of course, it stops fairly quick. And you got the rewind. And you got the play. Oop, not the wrong Play. The only thing I noticed about this uh, that doesn't work, and I haven't got anything to record, let me turn this on, record onto this with, but uh, I did try pushing the uh, record button and put that on record. The record light came on, and there was nothing on the tape where I was recording, but I don't have anything to record into it. Um, so, uh, couldn't check that out. Uh, but anyway, the VU meters, uh, they light up. Well, I haven't seen any moving. One of them was moving a little, slightly. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I haven't seen too much going on with that. But anyway, here's the uh, case, or the lid, uh, which is in uh, pretty good shape. Of course, it's going to be from 1965 to now. There's going to be a little bit of scratches, a little rubbing. Thanks for uh, checking this out, you guys.